بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ صلاۃ وسلام علیہ رسول اللہ محمد ابن عبد اللہ و علیہ و صحبہ و من ولا اما بعد We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us this golden opportunity once again to learn something new in arts. Today's lesson is going to be an interesting one. But before that, at least we do a recap of what we learned on our previous lesson. We learned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator of the ocean, seas and lakes and rivers. And we learned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us so many favors from the oceans, seas and lakes and rivers. And one of them, we say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the favor of food and clothing. Alhamdulillah, people use the seas and oceans as means of transport. And we painted an ocean. On today's lesson, inshaAllah ta'ala, we'll do something abstract. An abstract is type of art that has no physics it's just an idea you get from your mind uh, it does not have it does not need to be uh, a concrete or physical thing anything that pops up in your mind it's called an abstract it's an idea you can do it in art and today's lesson the abstract art that we are going to do today is the patterns we've seen this so many times in so many places and we'll try to do that just for the level of the beginners as you can see i'm holding a masking tape we will use this for our session today i hope you can find a masking tape it very nice easily accessible shops and everywhere even at the supermarkets you can get a masking tape whichever inch size that you want mine is one inch size but you can prefer using the half of this one no problem for as long as whatever we are going today you will master the concepts and you will follow step by step using our masking tape we'll make different patterns on the canvas remember you have the freedom it does not need to be an actual image you've seen somewhere you can just create it from your mind be creative and as we say so many times that is what art is all about these patterns are very common nowadays and um, they're very beautiful it depends on the varieties of colors you will use Arabic, as we said earlier, is a very beautiful language and it's the language of the Quran. It's the language that we will speak when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant us the opportunity to enter paradise. So make sure you remember these names. It's just important to know them. Imagine speaking the same language as Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. So, as you can see, I don't have any format. I've just placed patterns and I think I'm done. So, I will start applying my colors. After you do this, you paint inside the patterns that you've created on your canvas. So I have four colors. I have, I have three colors, which are red, blue, and yellow. These are the colors I'm going to use. I'll start with yellow. Just pick any spot. If it's this one, then you paint it. Just be careful. You don't overlap the masking tape you've placed. Make sure you reach end to end so that after this, when we remove the masking tape, because we will remove it, you are supposed to have a very neat line, very straight lines. Yellow is as far. It's one of the colors mentioned in the Holy Quran. So you can use any colors you prefer. I've 
use this one because just like these colors and some say that if you have a restaurant or something you should use color yellow because i don't know if it's true if you look at color yellow during lunch hours you'll get hungry so i don't know maybe it's just a myth that's why people eat a lot of bananas because they are yellow <laughs> so my next color i'm going to use is blue my boy as raccoon blue if you like pink zahari pink and i also like blue because it's the sky so don't let your brush dry let's wash it so i have with me color red i also like color red imagine if your blood was green in color just imagine mm -hmm. imagine you're bleeding yellow oh that will be weird you're bleeding purple so i like red was the color of my blood red is always there on our national flag so i like red but remember these patterns they do not need to be the same you can choose any format you wish and come up with any idea you have in mind maybe and red we say it is ahmarun it's also one of the colors mentioned in the holy quran i've left some boxes or some pattern empty i just switched like they should be like that but if you have anything in mind brown or purple or green you can do that then you let your paint to dry so that after that you remove your tip so my paint has dried so i'll start removing the tips be careful We said art is all about beauty, and that is what we are experiencing now. Shalla, there goes my pattern. How does it look? I like it. It's beautiful, mashallah. So it shouldn't be a thing to do even at home. You can come up with your own pattern and remember to follow the rules. Let it dry. Don't overlap when painting on the patterns and always take your time, be patient and you will have a result as this one. Alhamdulillah in everything you do always remember to reflect on what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created and he has done 
if it was not for him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we wouldn't have known these colors. So it's just a pattern, but the colors that we've used, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned them in the Holy Quran. So up to this, this is this will be the end of our lesson, inshaAllah ta'ala, until we missed again. And don't forget to follow our lesson. Always remember, don't skip any session. If you do that, you will lag behind. And until we meet again next time, wa billahi tawfiq, shukran. <laughs>